Welcome back. Okay, so we're, we're talking about chewing gum. Uh, <laughs> you see some people always chewing, room, if they were animals, they call them ruminants, right? <laughs> but they're humans and they do this. But let me just read something out. Singapore, in Singapore, chewing gum is banned. Is banned. Yes. It's illegal. As far back as 1992, <laughs> after the government decided that there were too many vandals disrupting the public transit system by sticking their used gum on the doors of the trains. <laughs> now, chewing gum is banned. It's, there's a ban on importation of chewing gum into Singapore, which is strictly enforced. Since 2004, only chewing gum of therapeutic value is allowed into Singapore under the regulation of imports and exports regulations. The exception is made for dental or nicotine gum. But in Nigeria, that is not the situation. So, Janet wants to talk to us about <laughs> chewing gum etiquette. What do you do with your chewing gum? Hello, Janet. How are you? Good morning. <laughs> good morning. Okay, good morning, Auntie. Actually, morning. I'm going to do something funny. Hello, do you like some? Oh, thank you. Uh, but you know I can't do this. I know. Okay. Thank you. The whole idea is, what do you do when you're offered chewing gum? Mm. Where are you at that right time? Mm. You know, um, the truth is, for what, one reason or the other, we all have that cause to want to chew gum. Mm. There are different reasons, okay? Some people don't like chewing gum at all. Some people don't like people chewing it around, around them, them. Yeah. you know? And there are many cases. And I have to say, my family and I, we actually did go to Switzerland. We didn't even know about the chewing gum thing. It's not even just chewing gum. Eating at a certain time is... You have to eat at a certain time. You can't eat after a certain time. So we were on the public train. Switzerland or in Singapore? In Singapore, okay. there's times to eat. There's times you can't walk in the mall chewing a packet of crisps or eating an apple. You just can't do that because you're likely going to fling the car somewhere mm. or the packet somewhere and everywhere is extremely clean. And we were on the public train and my daughter says, Mom, look at that sign there you will be fined or jailed for chewing gum. We're like, whoa! And you could imagine, like, don't even try chewing anything, whether don't gum or anything. Don't throw our, and, the, the, you know, the truth paper, is... The, um, um, what's it, that thing called? Pure water, pure paste, water. Oh. Sachets. sachets all over the street. But you can imagine for a whole government to do that. That's real discipline. It and is. it's working. So and you as a visitor, you dare not flout that rule. So, so chewing gum etiquette, we're going to look at it from the point of view of the advantage, the cons of it, and then the etiquette of <laughs> chewing gum in general. You know how I found out in <laughs> Singapore, I actually went into a store, mm -hmm. went around, and didn't see any chewing, chewing gum. gum. And I, I went to the, you know, the till and I asked, excuse me, I'd like to buy some chewing, chewing gum, please. And then the lady was, <gasps> <laughs> I had blasphemed or something. <laughs> chewing gum is banned in this mm -hmm. country. Absolutely. So, oh, but yeah, you, you can imagine, yeah, it, it, it can be a littering, nuisance. yeah, a yes. nuisance. But the truth be. is, chewing gum does have its advantages. Now, we chew gum for different reasons. Sometimes it's because you want to refresh in your breath, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. um, sometimes it could be because you, you just want to um, protect your teeth. So there are some that will actually advocate that chewing certain types of gum will actually protect your your decaying of your teeth and whatnot. Sometimes it could be to improve your concentration. So you're in, you're having a lecture, you're somewhere and you don't want to doze you off. Don't want to fall so you asleep. just want to keep yourself active and alert. Yes. So you pop a gum in your mouth and you chew it. Sometimes it could be because you're trying to alleviate stress and anxiety. So you've built up some fear and someone says, you know, just chew something just to keep your mind active. And I get that as well. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you're in a plane. They tell you to chew gum to so try and yes, relieve that, the, uh, the pain or yes. suck on sweets. Yes, mm -hmm. or suck on sweets, something. Mm. And then it, it also helps you, sometimes they say it helps eating habits. So it might suppress your desire to want to eat all the time. Between you just meals. chew gums in between mm. meals. Some would chew gum for that reason. Sometimes your mouth is typically just dry and you want some mint or something in your mouth just to lubricate your mouth a bit, you know. Sometimes, again, they tell you that it can fight decay of the teeth, and then again, it can also um, stop, some people say it stops smokers, you know, it helps them quit smoking. So there are various it helps with reasons. mouth odor too. Yeah, the mouth odor, the breath, yeah, just clean breath. up, yeah, and freshen yeah. up the breath. 
But there, of course there are cons. Now, if you have a filling in your teeth, for instance, and you begin to chew gum, you oh, know, the mercury in the filling is literally going to pull it out gradually. It's not going to be immediate. I can't but tell you how many times gum has pulled out my fillings. There you go. That's it. So that's what... <laughs> <laughs> and it's because sometimes you chew gum habitually. Some people... I have friends that they cannot but chew gum. And really, it's a killer. If you are well dressed and you just start mm. chewing gum like this, it just kills your image, oh, yes. right? And you, and of course, not to not to mention the fact that it can give you jaw aches and jaw pains. You're literally grinding into your jaw. That's the truth of the matter. And then sometimes. Um, it can damage your tooth as well. You're chewing so much and sometimes you're grinding on the two teeth together It can it can definitely do that and more importantly Some people try to chew gum to suppress hunger So when you're now hungry, you're not likely going to eat fruit or veg You're going to snack on junk food So you want to eat some crisps you want to eat some candy you want to eat some sweets and it then helps you It makes you eat junk food even more, but what about the etiquette of? chewing gum and it's all about when you chew gum how do you chew gum now some people chew with their entire 32 teeth the whole mouth the motion you can literally <laughs> see that they are definitely chewing gum and just imagine the image you're well dressed and you're just you might not be opening your mouth but that whole motion it doesn't look <laughs> it doesn't look good at all so do you chew with all your mouth Truthfully speaking, even if you have to chew gum at all, you do them by, by you just don't make it obvious. Mm -hmm. Chew discreetly and make sure it's at the right place, right time. So you cannot be chewing. I'm going to talk about that in a moment. You can't be chewing gum here, there, and everywhere. Like, like chewing gum on air. Yeah. Do you chew loud? <laughs> yeah. Do you chew? That's hardly possible. <laughs> do you chew chewing gum loud and lousy? So you do get some people that literally you can hear, you can hear yeah, those, them. Those you, popping sounds. Yeah, yeah, that's even one. But the fact that they're chewing gum, you can just hear the, the motions and the sound of chewing gum. Somebody and behind you. Some, your nerves. Yeah, and it's not pleasant at all. It, it is considered bad manners, to be honest. And then there are some people that chew gum and they must chew gum, they must pop bubbles. If they're not blowing the bubble, oh, they're popping, popping the it bubbles it. in their mouth. And really and truly speaking, again, that is rude. <laughs> and it's not the right way at all. So um, then some people, they, you know, they take, take snippets at a time. So they've taken one gum. Within a few minutes, the, the mint has gone. Before you can say Jack Robinson, they put another one in their mouth. Of, or maybe they're stylishly taken half by half. Before you know, you've taken four strips of gum and... You've got a whole lot in your mouth, and that it makes your mouth even full. It's, it's just not the right way to chew gum at Chuka, all. Chuka Oko, that one about chewing, Chuka Oko says it's always irritating sitting near a lady who uses a chewing gum in her mouth to yeah, disturb others. And, then, and more so for ladies. You know, a lot of people frown at ladies chewing gum. It doesn't matter where you are. Just laid, the whole art of ladies chewing gum, it literally does sabotage your image, you know. And um, I was at a particular conference one time and the speaker, majestically dressed, walked up, you know, impeccable. She looked immaculate, walking up. And she started her speech and we began to listen. Do you know in her second sentence, we could see gum, she was chewing gum in between her words. Now, the truth is, when you're going up to do a speech, you have to do a quick audit. My hair, is it okay? Am I dressed? And if you were chewing gum prior, literally, you got to get rid of it. I think she literally forgot to take the chewing gum out of her mouth and had to start. It was literally in her mouth as she was speaking in between her words. Now, it's difficult to swallow gum right you can't swallow it and in public it's going to be also difficult to take it out of your mouth oh, oh you so, could be bold enough say excuse me i actually forgot to do this <laughs> <laughs> not when all the cameras are on you oh, and all eyes are on you but um there and then she really did you know do herself Damage. she shot herself in the foot mm. because she was chewing gum in between and i've seen i've seen people make announcements with gum in their mouth now Having said that, where do you chew gum and where do you not chew gum? Now, first and foremost, let me start with the office. People tend to chew gum in the office because maybe after, especially after lunch, because it's sort of like, okay, I want to get that taste, that aftertaste out of my mouth. Mm -hmm. You pop a gum in your mouth because of the mint flavor. If it's mint you're going for. Sometimes it's because they've taken something that is literally going to make them sleep. Maybe it's beans or something heavy. And they put it in their mouth because they want to be alert and then, you, and then you now go into the office and you're ch chewing gum all about the place now there should be some guidelines against that kind of thing in an office setting depending on what your you know your um 
office rules are but some people do it a lot it is not really acceptable to eat chewing gum while you're at work you really need to make sure um you've chewed it a little bit take it out when you need to you're may, you may be in the meeting you're in the boardroom dare not chew gum in the boardroom so i'm going to tell you some places where i think that you know um you shouldn't chew gum at all workplace i think is a no-no